Mark, back out on Medeski Stadium, ready for the kickoff next week. Was it a good workout today against Portsmouth? Yeah, it really was, Richie. It's, you know, it's uh, delighted to be back, obviously, in, in our home settings. And you could see there's a little buzz about the place just arriving this morning. Obviously, very grateful to Kenny Jacket for bringing his team down. And it was a, you know, it was a good workout because he, he played two different uh, levens in, in two different halves of the, the game. So, you know, it wasn't as if his, sort of, his first eleven faded because we, they'd been probably not as much training as us. So they, they were fresh to the end. And, it, you know, it was, it was a decent stand of the game. Lots of uh, positives for us to take out of it. Lots of things, obviously, as well for us to look at. And can we, you know, fine-tune going into next week's game at Stoke? But, um, yeah, I stood here today, d delighted with the workout. And, uh, you know, it's been, it's been a long time coming, so we, we'll... We'll warm down tomorrow and then we'll start uh, start really focusing on the game of the weekend against Stoke now. And to an extent, it was important to have the opportunity to get a match in here because, as you mentioned there, you know, it's a bit of a dry run for what the next nine games going to be like, isn't it? Yeah, and there's still not a lot of things, a few little things, you know, in terms of the the build-up for the game and, and you know, the little, little things that players do and staff do that uh, it was important. We you know, make, make a few notes in our, in our heads and make sure they're right for next week as well because it's new to us all, we understand that, but uh, and important for the lads as well to have that experience of, you know, it's not often that they play against, uh, you know, different opposition in an empty stadium. You know, they, they do it in training games when we come here, maybe a day before a game, but against an, a different opposition, different club, it's it's new to them. You know, and, and we conceded a goal today, and I was interested, actually, it was a good point from my point of view, because it was the reaction then where, you know, you're going to have that situation against Stoke if we do concede or whatever. You know, you don't get crowd reaction and you, you, it's, it's a mental thing for us to go again and maintain the standards that we've got. I was going to ask you exactly that. What, to what extent were you putting any emphasis on the on the result today or, or the scoreline or anything like that? No, nothing other than most, you know, most clubs and managers do in pre-season. Listen, it's always nice to win. The scoreline, I wouldn't say it's irrelevant. You just want to make sure you, your players do the right things. You know, and there was times... We played well today, you know, but there's times the individuals making the bad selection in possession, you know what I mean? So, again, that, that comes with more training sessions as a group, more games against opposition. It's, that's a thing, I think, early on in the, the re re resume, resume, resumption of the season, which might catch teams out, you know, players making the wrong decisions at the wrong times, you know, because it's been so long since they've played again. But, um, no, so in that respect, again, delighted with the, with the way the game's gone. We'll have a look at the bodies, you know, again tomorrow. A few guys now, you know, played a full 90 minutes. There'll be aches and pains tomorrow. But as we stand here now, we've got uh, everybody fit and well. I think Andy, Andy Yaida missed out today. He's got a little bit of a stiffness in his hamstring. Uh, Lucas Boy has, has got issues as well with his, with his fitness. So those are the only two, really, that we didn't have available. As you said there, you know, a few get 90s. Uh, some of the players kind of getting different amounts of time and stuff, but hopefully everyone's yeah, barring those kind of small concerns, we've actually got a lot of players to choose from now. Yeah, we've got to you know make no bones of the fact we've got a big squad. I've said that, and but at times like this, nine games coming up in was it five weeks? It's going to be important. You know, you can see looking at the, I think the German league, they've been having a lot of injuries because you, you're asking players to go to a real high intensity of games in a short period of time. If we have that, you'd like to think that we've got the numbers and the strength of the squad to deal with it. We asked you about three months ago about build-up to Stoke City and what kind of opposition they'll pr provide and stuff. A club you know well, and, and I'm sure you ex fully know what, what to expect out of a high-quality squad and a squad that will be tough to beat. Yeah, and, and everybody, I'm sure that they're not not unlike us. You know, we played, we had a friend who gave me his Chelsea in the week and I, I found out after the game that I think uh, Chelsea did a phone call from Derby and from Stoke wanting, wanting a a video of the game sent through to them, you know. So everybody's trying to find out what the other clubs have been doing and how they are fitness-wise and with their testing sit regimes and everything. So, yeah, we, it, it'll soon, everything will come to light soon enough. We've just got to make sure, as I say, that we get to next Saturday and uh, we'll have a break after next Saturday, a full week before the next game. But so, all the more important to hit the ground running and make sure we're mentally and physically right for the game in store. And lastly, I guess this, yeah, this got full week of build-up exactly for that one game, haven't you? So it's, uh, yeah, all this hard work's in the in the bank now, and now it's the actual focus on the game, for it, which is great. Yeah, and it, it's new because you know how many times over the over the years, you know, it do you have, you know, maybe teams are guilty in the past of, of starting a new season, and uh, you know, you build yourself into the season. I think any club now, you know, Premier League and, and the Championship. 
you can't afford to play, play yourself or build, build it up slowly. You've really, from the first minute of the first game, you've got to be at it physically, mentally for the demands of it and, and, and try and get that momentum and create that momentum for yourself that takes you through those nine games.